Ciao, mi chiamo Chris. Parlo un po' di italiano? Uh, mi dispiace. Hi everyone, Yakety Thak here. Uh, this is part one of my Italian writing series. And Italian is a beautiful language. It really is, especially when you hear proper pronunciations and enunciations uh, from native speakers. The rolling R's, it's, it's really lovely. I think part of the allure for people to try to study this language and acquire much of its uh, usage is that it has a very short alphabet. There's only 25 letters in the Italian alphabet. Okay, and a neat fact about Italy is in 2004, la two Lamborghini Gallardo supercars were donated to the police. So, I mean, you're trying to outrun them. You better, you better know how to operate a V12 engine. So, as I do for most of the languages that I've begun to study, when I can find a version on YouTube of, if you're happy and you know it, I write it down and I learn it. So, to say Felice tu lo sai, if you're happy and you know it. And neat part about this song is there's certain words in here that I fell in love with. So, this word here is skioka. Okay, so you can click your tongue or snap your fingers. Skioka la lingua. Okay, but uh, I'm not going to sing it for you. I don't sing well. Um, but if you learn these songs and you meet a native speaker of whatever language, especially children or an adult who hasn't heard the native version in like 30 years and you bust it out, they, they just, they melt and they revert back to being a child and you'll see them smile and clap along with you. So this Italian was the, uh, the third foreign language I decided to begin to study. After the Gujarati, I did Danish and then I got into a little bit of the Italian. Now, this was when I stopped for four months, I came back and I decided to, even if it's in a Romanized script, to write it clean and legible. And you can see how easy it is to read when you come back to it, okay? Like, sto bene, I'm fine. Grazie, thank you. Okay. Prego, you're welcome. I prego, you're welcome. Okay, this is zero effort to read the words. Buona notte, arrivederla. Okay, to arrivederci. To pronounce it correctly, I might, I might not be. That's once I go back into the YouTube video and I pronounce it with the native speaker, there's zero effort for me. Capisque? Do you understand? Of course, capisco. I can read this. It's not hard whatsoever. It's not important what words I have written down here at the beginning. It's just that I take my time to write the Italian language clean and legibly. So that way, if someone else requires me to transliterate from one language into Italian, muscle memory's there. And the speed will come naturally. First you get good, and then you get fast. Okay? Now, the reason I show you the back first is, look at how sloppy this is. Because I thought, you know, it's your ego. Per favore, grazie. These are easy words, yeah? But it's kind of messy. And you don't want to wake up you know, and say, okay, today I'm going to study this a little bit. And then you come over to their national anthem. And look at this. Look how messy this is. Look, look at the spacing. There's no real respect shown to the Italian language or culture. And I, I had enough of that. Once I discovered that I was going to become serious about writing in these foreign languages, okay, no more smushing words in. And look, like, same color. It's, it's difficult, okay, green, verde. Yeah, some people will say, well, no, that's, that's pretty good notes. But again, if you're going to have to go over it again and again, look at that difference. Would you rather not read that? I personally would. And I think if I could translate on behalf of the United Nations in rural villages around the world, I'm sure that the local people would prefer to read it in this way as well. The word foreign does not mean impossible. Language is free knowledge. Keep talking.